Are there any guys out there on tour that you see that defy everything that you are teaching and yet it somehow works? And why is it Jordan Speed? <laughs> um, I was going to go with Scotty Scheffler. Um, oh, yeah? Yeah. What's Scotty got going on? Well, I mean, I just, he's got a lot going on. I'm not sure. What's, what's I mean, I, I just think he's he's a bit more, you know, he, he grew up on Bermuda. A lot right? of turf interaction. Tons of turf interaction, much more steeper angle of attack. Uh, shaft gets gets real real vertical. And he's just, he's found a way to, to be great at it, right? Mm. Zero, zero knock on him. I think, I think he's, he's proven time and time and time and time again that his short game can stand up under pressure. Um, now, do I think it's the most efficient way to do it? No, but he's like in the 0.0001% of most talented humans on the planet. So for the 12 handicap, I would not go and copy that motion. I would copy a motion more like Cameron Young, who has a, a, quite a bit more width, uh, quite a bit more uh, sort of tempo and, and slowness to his motion. I would copy that motion because he's, he's stacking the odds in his favor by getting shallow through impact, engaging the bounce, balls coming out sort of the same every time, turf interactions the same every time. I'd copy Cameron Young, I'd copy Keith Mitchell all day long. I'd copy Steve Stricker, I'd copy Jason Day. Yeah. These are guys that I would want to copy. Um, Jordan Spieth, in my mind, used to be really steep. Used to look way more like Scotty Scheffler. Both growing up Texas kind of kids, right? It's like you just, sometimes you just, that's how you did it, right? You just chop sometimes down you gotta on it. you got to stick the club in the you ground. you got to stick the club in the ground sometimes. Um, and so, but Jordan, I've noticed over the last uh, couple of few years, has definitely built in a, a wider backswing for some of these pitch shots and the way that he goes from wide to then he'll go narrow and then he'll go like real long i mean it's he's got the whole package it's unbelievable to watch um and he's fun he's fun to watch out of the bunker too because he's got the real long sort of arnold palmer like follow through to put a bunch of spin on it or he's got the and it Trickle. Trickles out and he yeah. holds out quite a bit of them. He does. You know, he yeah. makes so many bunker shots. Yeah. So I, I would say, yeah, I mean, like, I think Jordan's one of the most fun to watch around the green. Anytime he's around the green, I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm glued to the TV. Yeah. Because yeah. we were talking earlier about, you know, this, what you see, you don't see as much as the hop, pop, rip, stop. You know, there's only like a few, Scotty does it yes. and, and Jordan does it. Now it's like this very much controlled release where these pitch shots are going in like putts. And yes. You see more and more hole outs every week because yep. the guys, the, they're just grooved. But those two in particular are like every once in a while, you're like, oh, I remember when I used to see that with the old grooves yep. and everything. And you get the big crowd, you know, reaction. Yeah. And it's you can almost fun. see, you know, guys would hit it and it would it would go bounce, bounce, spin, and you could see it like spinning on a top like yes, this because yeah. guys had almost cut across it a bit. And again, that that sort of steeper angle of attack, holding that face, is going to sort of produce that that spin. And it's it's like it's a really cool shot, but I don't think it's a percentage play. What would you do if you were caddying for Scotty in the Masters last year? When oh, he won and he short sided on three yeah. and his caddy's pointing like we're just gonna we're just gonna bang it into the hill right here. What would you be saying to him? Oh my gosh. Yeah, because I I mean in that situation, I mean that ball was coming in hot. Hot. And you know, there he and Cam were right in the same spot and I was like, I like Cam's chances much better than I like Scotty's here. And Scotty just he hit the perfect shot at the perfect time. But that that was one of those instances where he doesn't necessarily, because of his angle of attack, he doesn't necessarily have that high floaty pitch shot to land on the green and grab. He's got more of the drivey, bounce, bounce, really, really spin. But that shot was so, it had to go up and then you had to stop it on, on that tabletop up there. And it's like, he, he had to bang it into the hill. That was his sort of only option. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, it's like, he, he's proven that he can do it. But I would say if you want to, if you want emotion to copy, I would much rather you copy Steve Stricker, Keith Mitchell, Jason Day, um, Cameron Young. I, I would much rather copy something like that because that's gonna help the club golfer, the amateur golfer, the guy that plays once a week, 
the guy that plays once a month, it's going to help that player stack the odds in your favor. It'd be like if you were playing blackjack or you're playing poker or something and you know, you know the odds, right? It's like, well, you're not going to hit on 16 if, if the dealer's showing a six. Right? You just, the odds are in your favor, you just stay. Yeah. Right? That's sort well, of what we're trying to. Ideally. That's sort of what we're trying to do. Dealer here. flips over a five, and then <laughs> hammer, hammers a 10. That's yeah. what we're trying to do here is, yeah. is be able to stack the odds in your favor around the greens. Yeah.